check it out. I'm saying, check it out now. Back in my immature days, I would have fucked up how I'm handling this situation. Okay, I would have came out responding to an artist who has tweeted something that is probably uh, contradicting something that I've said, and now my integrity is at stake. And fuck it, my integrity means everything to me, so I'm about to spill it. That's what I would do, but. Listen, man, when I was a child, I spoke as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things, except the goddamn Henny, which is not a child thing anyway. But, Nicki Minaj, she's coming out to basically debunk, or at least refute a goddamn uh, theory. By the way, uh, if you don't know, I covered a story on here. I said Nicki was mad behind the scenes, basically because the record went out, another one of her records was blocked, and apparently... Uh, Atlantic was playing games with her. Also, she she was not in the know that Cardi B was going to be on the song. Okay? Now, here's the thing. She got on Twitter, and she's saying that's a motherfucking lie. Okay? I'm going to read what she said. And, again, my normal method of responding to these things would be just to say, well, it ain't me that's lying if she's telling the truth. This this person, and he works for this label, and he's in the building, and let's blame. But fuck all that. I don't got to give out a source. Rappers are professional liars. I got to put that on a shirt. It's coming soon. But here's what Nicki Minaj said on Twitter. She says, I was on the song with Quavo. No one else was on it. He called and asked if I think we should put Barty on it. I said, okay, let's do it. The end. Migos were not even on it yet. Just Quavo. The conspiracy theories are just so tired. Relax, breathe, imagine me not knowing who on a song with me. Anything with my name on it gets approved by me. It can't even go on a streaming service without me hearing it and giving it written approval. These are men in our culture who simply refuse to let it go. They don't do this to male MCs. But yo, Motorsport, number one added on Urban Radio. Then she quoted a complex uh, uh, interview where Cardi B was saying, listen, I ain't got no beef with Nicki. Even if we kissed and made out, they would still think we got beef. And she said, very true. We could make out and it wouldn't be enough. I am done. Somebody also asked her about the record for keeps. She says, they, they said, is it coming out? She says, ah, maybe, maybe not. Now, here's the response, man. Nikki's line, okay? Uh, listen, and, and I double-checked with the sources that I spoke to, okay? These are sources that are in the know. These are sources that are within buildings where these things would be decided. And basically, Nicki Minaj didn't approve. Uh, that's what I'm hearing. Nicki Minaj was not the one who requested Cardi B. She's not the one who said, let's team up. She was told that Cardi B was put on the song. She was trying to change it. It couldn't be changed. And that's why it came out. She wasn't happy. However, when public pressure starts to roll on you, and remember, she ain't tweet out nothing about the record days following its release, after public pressure and everybody looking at you saying, bitch, you got a problem. You ain't going to promote it. Now you got to look like you love the record. So, again, I wasn't that shocked that she came out saying this. Again, I also want to stress that Nikki and Cardi, I am not in the belief that they don't like each other. Maybe there is a little bit of pettiness there. But the main thing is... Nikki and Atlantic Records, they're playing games. Why didn't Nikki not tell us why that record didn't come out with Uzi? She ain't gonna tell us that because Atlantic blocked the motherfucker, okay? Why, if she's clearing this up, did she not go in depth and clear up everything surrounding the quote-unquote conspiracy theories? And by the way, listen, man, conspiracy theory is used vaguely. Listen, niggas is just saying conspiracy theories because they're just not trying to snitch on their plug. Okay, let's be, let's keep it trill, okay? So, again, I understand why Nikki's doing this. She got to do this. But I'm going to keep telling y'all rappers are professional liars. Back in my childish days, I would have dropped the receipts Text messages, tweets, niggas' numbers, positions. Back in my childish days, I would do that, okay? Nowadays, I'll tell you what it is, and I hope I've built up enough cachet with you guys for you to believe me, and I've proven time and time again that rappers are fucking professional liars, and you would give me the benefit of the doubt on that, okay? Get a comment, Oxman, you guys like. Listen, if Nicki Minaj is telling the truth, we will see in due time but right now she is publicly proclaiming that she loves cardi b cardi b seems flustered every time she's asked about nikki she don't know how to really respond to say she loves her back okay even the answer when she said oh we can make out 
that was a little bit of a knee-jerk reaction, okay? It was like, oh, uh, 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 yeah. So, we'll see. Uh, listen, regardless, I like both of these women uh, musically. Mm, right now, Cardi B a little bit more than Nicki uh, because I think Nicki has been a couple swings and miss, but I think Nicki might be in her bag, and she's been promising this album that she claimed is like over 25% complete. Hopefully, we'll get it soon, and a lot more questions will be answered, okay? And by the way, I will give both of these women credit for at least cleverly taking shots at each other and realizing, shit, just having people talk about it, that's still business. That's one of the reasons the song is number one, because the song ain't that hot. The reason that that song is gaining so much traction, it's not because y'all on the record together. It's really because we think y'all dissing each other. Get in the comments, you guys like them, subscriber. Go check out that merch. That shit might be going by the weekend.